All right, so you wanna get rich trading Forex. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not as easy as it sounds. But in this video, we're gonna tell you, or I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can get started trading in the Forex markets for 2021. It's gonna be a new year, new you, hopefully no more of the Rony Rona, and hopefully we can have a good one, right? So all I ask in return for this video is for you to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and the bell notification icon. This helps the community grow, and it makes me want to make more videos for you. So. Do those things, please. I'll see you guys in the video. I almost forgot, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a free strategy, so make sure you watch it all the way to the end because it is a good one. Okay, so if you aren't already aware, Forex is just trading currencies. I'm sure you've heard of the stock market where you trade stock. Well, Forex is the exact same thing. Instead of trading stock, though, you are trading currencies, for example, the U US dollar and the euro, right? So you can trade these currencies for a profit or for a loss exactly the same way that you trade a stock market. But <clears throat> also like the stock market, you need a broker, right? You've heard of a stock broker. Well, in Forex, you have a Forex broker. So I have two recommended brokers that I can give you. Do your own research as always, but the first one is going to be Owanda. So this is owanda.com. All you have to do is go over to their website and create an account, fund the account, confirm your identity, and boom, you're ready to trade currencies. There is another step, obviously, that we will get to. We have three steps in this video, so make sure to keep watching. And I'm sure by the end of it, you will understand the very basics of trading Forex. Oh, and I'm also going to give you a free strategy at the end here, so make sure you keep watching. It is a very simple strategy that I recommend to all beginners as it is definitely one of the better strategies you can use starting out and gives you some sort of concrete foundation as we all need a good foundation. So Awanda is the best broker in my opinion for bigger accounts. Okay, we got two brokers here, one for large accounts, one for small accounts. And what do I, how do I define a large or small account? Usually if I say, or usually I have um, over a thousand dollars being a large account and under $1,000 being a small account. So if you have over $1,000 to put into your trading account, Owanda is probably the better currency uh, broker. But if you don't, then I have to recommend Osprey FX. The link will be in the description for both of these brokers. Osprey FX is probably better for a smaller account. The reason why I say this is because they offer one to 500 leverage. So in the Forex world, leverage is basically money that the broker lends you so that you can trade with small amounts of money, okay? So Osprey FX offers one to 500 leverage. That means that they will loan you basically 500 times your account value up to 500 times your account value to trade with. To contrast, <clears throat> Awanda only offers 50 to one. So that is why you need more money to trade with Awanda. If you have a smaller account, it's better to use a higher leverage broker. Now be advised, Osprey FX is not a regulated broker. Awanda is. When a broker is not regulated, they can get away with some shady stuff. Osprey FX, as far as I know, has not done anything shady, but there always is a slight bit more risk going with an unregulated broker compared to a regulated broker, but that's just the risk you have to take when you don't have tons of money to put into the market. It's kind of your startup cost, if you will. So all of these brokers are really easy to use. All you have to do is open your account, verify your identity, and fund the account with the money. And once that is done, boom, you are ready to go trading currencies. But how do we actually start trading? I'm sure you've seen all these fancy charts and the massive profits everywhere. Well, we're gonna get into that into the next step, which is your charting platform. So the charting platform that I recommend is this one right here, tradingview.com. It's basically like a perfect software for trading. You get beautiful charts, easy to use, online based. It's not a you know software that you download. It's just all online on the internet. You have your account, as you can see right here, you can actually make posts on your account of predictions you have. And then of course we have the charts. So here we are on the charting platform trading view. You can see I'm looking at the Euro Aussie dollar. You can see that in the top left corner right here, Euro odd, right? And that is basically what we're trading here. We are trading the Euro versus the Aussie dollar. So when we buy this, for example, and this is, I'm actually in a trade here, but when we buy this, we are buying the Euro, hoping that the Euro appreciates in value compared to the Aussie dollar and vice versa, right? 
So I know this all looks pretty complicated. Okay, this is just what we call technical analysis. I'm sure there's not too many of you who haven't heard that before, but uh, this is how I trade. I trade these little uh, M and W patterns here. More about that in the link description down below if you wanna learn how to trade these patterns. Uh, but enough about that, that's a little too advanced for this video. So to actually start trading and just be advised that this only works with Awanda, I will show you how to use Osprey FX in a bit. But we're gonna go down to the top, bottom left corner down here. It's actually cut off for you, but as soon as I click it, you will see, and you will see it on your screen as well once you go into trading view. We're gonna click trading panel. You should be able to see it now. Okay, and then on the bottom of the screen, you can see all of these brokers. Notice that there are a few, but you do not see Osprey FX, okay? So basically what this means is that we can connect, for example, Oanda, to this charting platform and we can go ahead and start placing our trades on this very uh, software, right? Trading view. If you have Osprey FX, all you have to do is go to MetaTrader. It's either an app on your phone or you can download the software. Basically, it's the same exact process. You just connect your broker to the charting platform. I'm sure there's multiple videos on the internet on how to do it for MetaTrader. I personally like using TradingView, but if you're gonna use Osprey FX, MetaTrader is also very, very easy to use, and it has an app on your phone that you can trade right off of, whereas Awanda, it's not as good as the, it, does, it has an app, but it's not as good as MetaTrader 4. Um, so that's the perk of using Osprey FX over Awanda, I guess. So all you have to do is go to Awanda and hit connect, and then you just have to put in your information, your Awanda login information, and boom, you will have an account ready to go. And all you have to do to start trading is go right click, go to trade, and now you can buy and sell just like that, okay? So it really is just it really is that simple. You just have to make a brokerage account that takes about 20 minutes not even, probably like 10 minutes, you go to this charting software, you connect your broker account, that takes two minutes max, and you are ready and live on the market, ready to start trading and making or losing money. Okay, so now let's get into this strategy portion. If you've waited this long throughout the video, you deserve to get a reward, and I'm going to reward you with one of the easiest strategies that I've ever used, and also one of the first strategies that I used that actually started making me some money in the Forex markets. And if you've been following me for a long time, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you will probably already know this strategy, but if you are a beginner or new to this channel, Congratulations, you've stumbled upon some gold. So this strategy is a simple trend trading strategy. All we do is define a trend by either the price making higher highs, right? Moving up, whoops, that is ugly, right? We are moving up because we are breaking and making new highs, right? Or higher highs, and then we are making higher lows, okay? So higher highs, higher lows, this is what we identify as an uptrend. And the downtrend we identify as making lower lows, lower highs, okay? And subscribers, I'm sorry to keep saying this, I know you've heard of this strategy a million times, but we have to keep giving these people what they want, right? The value. So we have our higher highs and higher or higher highs, higher lows and lower lows, lower highs. That this is an uptrend and this is a downtrend. So what we do in this strategy is simply follow the trend and the goal of the strategy is to be buying the dips on the higher high, higher lows and shorting the pops on the lower lows, lower highs. Okay, so our goal is to make money by buying here, buying there and making money shorting here and shorting there. So let me show you a quick example of this. So if we just pretend that we never saw this and we just go back to this right here, what we can notice is that this is indeed making high or lower lows, lower highs, right? Just like we just drew out uh, right here, okay? The same thing, we are on a four hour chart, okay? So all we're doing is identifying the trend. Step one, identify the trend. Step two, identify an area of support or resistance. If you're not familiar with support and resistance, I can't explain it all in this video, but basically all it is is areas where price has bounced or been rejected in the past. Therefore, we think that it's likely to do that same thing in the future. I can't get into too much of it, but this is going to be our level of resistance right here. I'll try to find a video. I'm pretty sure I have a video somewhere, and if not, I'll make one for you guys. So. We have our area of resistance. So we have, this is basically where we wanna go short on this pair. But now what we wanna do is take a Fibonacci retracement tool. And I'm sorry if you're a bit, if you are a complete beginner, this strategy might not make too much sense to you. 
but if you're somewhat well versed then this strategy should make decent sense anyways we have our Fibonacci retracement tool basically all this tells us it basically it gives us a bunch of levels of resistance okay resistance meaning it's like a ceiling right so it's hard for price to break through uh, resistance levels so all we do is identify our Fibonacci retracement levels so we have the 382 the 5 for 50.5 for 50 61 8 786 886 and then the one okay so all this is telling us is that these are some resistance levels then we take a look at our structural we call this structural resistance because it's the actual chart itself okay this was an area where price reacted to in the past right we got a reaction so we can probably expect a reaction in the future now what we really want to make sure is that we have a good risk to reward risk to reward is basically the how much risk are you taking and is it more than your potential reward we always want to have our reward outweigh outweighing our risk so what we're going to do is take a trade anywhere pretty much above this 382 level so we find that our resistance level is above that 382 which offers us a decent risk to reward why do i say that because if we take a position let's say we go short right here at this 50 percent retracement right around there okay this is our short position we have let me get rid of this fibonacci retracement we have our stop loss, okay? This is where we look to exit the trade, okay? Our stop loss, and let me just push this a little bit to the left. Our stop loss, where we're gonna exit this trade for a loss, is going to be above the most recent high, which is right here, okay? And let me get rid of this as well. Nope, can't do that. Gonna have to do it the slow way. So the stop loss is above the most recent high. Now, why is it above the most recent high well because if price went and broke through this high then we're no longer in a downtrend because why we just made a higher high therefore we're in an uptrend and we're we should expect a higher low as well so so to make sure that that doesn't happen or to make sure we're not in the trade when that does happen we set our stop loss or the spot where we're going to get out for a loss right above that high and we can actually bring it a little bit lower right around there now our reward this is our risk our reward is going to be an ABCD pattern okay this is one of the patterns um, I teach all the time it's in the course it's in I believe it's on my YouTube um, so what we do is we copy this move down the main swing down which is actually a little bit longer so let me copy that again copy paste and then we paste that forward around where our entry point is going to be okay we're basically projecting that if price does exactly what it did earlier which is go down by a lot then we should be able to get an equal move down just like it did here that's the theory behind it and very that's the very basics of it so we target which i can't even really show you guys <laughs> well now i can there you go so you can see what happens right our target is way down here okay this is an abcd pattern or let me just adjust it okay so that is our projected target it's right right here okay so you can see that this trade worked out pretty well if you were to take it right this is all theoretical and you would be up about let me see here you would be up 175 pips okay so that is a pretty big trade there and all we did is just identify the trend and trade with it and by the way what does this look like to you if we just draw out the lines that is a downtrend right like we just drew right here same exact thing now notice this number right here it says 1.74 that basically means that our risk was or our reward is 1.74 times greater than our risk or basically we're risking for every one dollar we're risking we are potentially gaining reward of one dollar and 74 cents Basically, this, this lets us be wrong about half of the time and still make money, because think about it. If you're wrong, you lose $1. If you're right, you win $1.74. So you can literally lose half the time and still make money. And so that is how you can get rich trading Forex in 2021. I apologize for that clickbait, but you know I have to do it because people won't click otherwise. You can make tons of money in Forex, but don't have a get-rich-quick mindset.